After the Sun and Moon, Venus is the third brightest object in the Earth's night sky. Venus is the second planet from the Sun. Because of how close their sizes and masses are, it is occasionally referred to as Earth's sister planet. The planet that is closest to Earth is Venus. An impenetrable blanket of clouds made of sulfuric acid covers Venus' surface. The second biggest terrestrial planet, Venus, is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. The next brightest natural object in the sky is Venus. The planet can be seen on a bright, clear day because of its apparent magnitude, which ranges from minus 3.8 to minus 4.6. The only other naturally occurring object that is brighter is the moon. The terms dawn star and evening star are both sometimes used to describe Venus. This goes back to the times when people thought Venus was actually two separate lights that appeared in the sky. Venus is visible at sunrise until its orbit passes Earth's and then becomes visible at nightfall. The Greeks referred to them as Phosphorus and Hesperus, while the Romans called them Lucifer and Vesper. On Venus, a day lasts more than a year. One rotation takes 243 Earth days to complete because of how slowly it rotates on its axis. Venus has a shorter year than Earth because of the planet's 225 Earth day orbit. The Roman goddess of love and beauty is named Venus. This may be partly attributable to the planet's brightness and may have its roots in the Babylonians' description of Venus as the bright queen of the sky in 1581. Venus is occasionally referred to as Earth's sister planet. This is so because Venus has about 81% of Earth's mass and their sizes are relatively comparable. Their diameters differ by about 638 kilometers. Venus is the planet closest to Earth, yet they are all similarly situated. Additionally, both planets have a crust, a molten mantle, and a central core. Venus lacks rings and moons. Venus' environment may have been similar to Earth's billions of years ago, and it is thought that Venus formerly had vast oceans or bodies of water. However, because of the intense greenhouse effects high temperatures, this water boiled out long ago, making the planet's surface too hot and unfriendly to support life. When compared to other planets, Venus rotates counterclockwise. In contrast to the majority of other planets, Venus, like Uranus, rotates in the opposite direction around its axis. The planet may have changed its rotational path as a result of a collision with an asteroid or another object, which is known as a retrograde rotation. The average surface temperature of Venus, the hottest planet in the solar system, is 462 degrees Celsius, 863 degrees Fahrenheit. Additionally, Venus does not tilt, hence there are no seasons either. Due to the dense 96.5% carbon dioxide content of the atmosphere, which traps heat, any water sources evaporation occurred billions of years ago due to the greenhouse effect. On Venus, there aren't much differences in temperature between day and night. This is a result of the solar wind's gradual migration across the planet's surface. The surface of Venus is thought to be 300 to 400 million years old. The Earth's surface, in contrast, is only roughly 100 million years old. Venus's atmosphere exerts 92 times more pressure than Earth does. This explains why Venus lacks minor surface craters because any small asteroids that enter its atmosphere are crushed by the intense pressure. This pressure is roughly 1,000 kilometers below the surface of the Earth's seas. It was known that Venus was one of four planets besides Earth by the time of the ancient Romans. The Romans gave Venus, their goddess of love and beauty, as a name because it was the brightest and most noticeable of these planets. The planet has naturally been linked throughout history with love, femininity, and romance due to its name. Venus and Earth are frequently compared to one another in terms of size, density, mass, and volume. Despite having many of the same qualities as Earth, Venus differs greatly from it in many other aspects, including its atmosphere, spin, surface temperatures, and lack of a moon. It should be noted that even if the twin link persists, they are not identical. In the second half of the 20th century, we learned a lot more about Venus than we did about Mercury. 
For instance, scientists had hoped such conditions could exist beneath the planet's incredibly dense clouds before to the numerous planetary expeditions carried out by NASA and the Soviet Union beginning in the 1960s. Sadly, the information gathered during these missions showed that the environmental conditions were too harsh to support life. Venus' atmosphere is composed of two major layers. The first is a bank of clouds that practically envelopes the entire globe. Everything below these clouds is the second. Sulfur dioxide, SO2, and sulfuric acid make up the majority of the clouds that encircle Venus, which are 50 to 80 kilometers above the planet's surface, H2SO4. Because they are so thick, these clouds reflect 60% of Venus's solar radiation back into space. Two characteristics stand out right away when examining the subcloud atmosphere, density, and composition. Venus is the hottest and least hospitable planet in the solar system as a result of the enormous impact these two features have on the world. First off, the atmospheric pressure is 92 times higher than what is observed at sea level on Earth due to the atmospheric density, which is around 65 kilograms per cubic meter. This discrepancy is significant in size. To put that into perspective, to experience the equivalent pressure on Earth, one would need to go around one kilometer below the surface of the ocean. Second, the subcloud atmosphere is predominantly composed of nitrogen with a carbon dioxide, CO2, content of about 97%. N2. As a result, there is a zone of extraordinarily thick carbon monoxide between the planet's surface and the high altitude cloud layer. The greenhouse effect, heating brought on by the atmosphere trapping solar radiation, is the result of this environment and it manifests itself quite intensely. Carbon dioxide effect. When trace amounts of solar radiation in the form of visible light pierce the thick cloud layer on Venus, the greenhouse effect kicks in. This radiation is transformed into heat and released back into the atmosphere after being absorbed by the surface. The light can still travel across the carbon dioxide zone at this moment, but the heat cannot. This is because of the carbon dioxide's inherent characteristics. Instead, the carbon dioxide absorbs the heat and then partially radiates it back toward the planet's surface. The cumulative result is a steady surplus of heat, which in turn keeps the surface temperature at an extreme 480 degrees Celsius all the time. As a result, Venus' surface is easily the warmest in the solar system. This strongly suggests to some that Venus' rotation has been influenced over billions of years by the Earth's gravitational pull. However, other scientists are skeptical that Venus has undergone such profound change as a result of the Earth's gravitational pull. Instead, they have sought an answer in the early solar system when the planets were still forming. They postulate that while Venus' rotation initially resembled that of the other planets, it was changed to its present orientation when a massive planetesimal slammed the newborn planet violently, effectively flipping it on its side. Another surprise finding is the speed of Venus' spin. A day on Venus is longer than any other planet, taking around 243 Earth days to complete one rotation. This is significant on its own. But what is even more amazing is the comparison of Venus' day to its year. Venus' year, which is approximately 224 Earth days long, is almost 19 Earth days shorter than one Venusian day. Once more, no other planet has such a characteristic. The predominant theory for this occurrence is the one that accounts for the planet's retrograde rotation. Fast Facts About Venus Venus has a diameter of 12,104 kilometers, 7,521 miles. This is almost 95% of the Earth's diameter. A day on Venus is longer than any other day on a planet, taking around 243 Earth days to complete one rotation. Venusian years are roughly 224 Earth days long. A year on Venus is therefore shorter than a day there. Only planets in a superior position to Earth experience opposition. Planets that are further away from the Sun than the Earth are meant by this. Venus and Mercury cannot ever be in opposition because they are inferior to Earth because they are closer to the Sun than the latter. This is all for today. 
Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for more videos. Stay tuned with AWZ.